Hey kids! Um, I actually don't know if I told you last night that I went and saw Frank and Weenie, so telling you again just in case. Uh, because I'm too lazy to go watch my video before I make this one. Yay! Um, let's see. I had a pretty good day. I uh, went to school, got my paper back, and I had an A. Um, I got an A. Uh, we read, well, we went over, um, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty by Thurmer, and that's super exciting. Uh, I'm thinking about writing my next paper on it, because it's actually a really good story, and it's not too long. So that's good. Um, let's see, what else? My neck is itching, sorry. Um, then I went to Japanese class, and my teacher, uh, my sensei was super, um, understanding about me missing class. So I get to turn in all of my homework um, for the last three classes today, and the stuff that I wasn't able to turn in because it was handouts, um, she's letting me turn in on Wednesday, which is super nice. I'm super excited. Super, 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 super. And I'm doing some extra credit um, involving writing a letter, a proper Japanese letter, in Japanese characters. So extra credit, because, I don't know, I want to get an A, or something. Yeah, I want to get an A. I want to do better this semester than I did the first time, so that my transcripts will look good. Yeah. Well, no, I just want to know the language really well. Um, after school, I went downtown to South Congress, also known as SoCo. Um, and met my uh, a friend of mine down at the Gurin Hat Shop, um, which is over by the Amy's Ice Cream, if you guys know the area. And I may have gotten a really awesome hat, which I am getting a friend to help me uh, construct a dress to go with it, because um, Gurin hats are very... They're swanky. They're very swanky. And I need a swanky dress to go with it. So, I'm doing that. I'm super excited. Um, I also... We had um, dinner at a, um, a restaurant like two sto two shops down. Um, I don't remember what it's called right now. And I feel really bad for that. So... Um, I will put it in the, I do, do what the name is, and if they have a website, I'll definitely link it, because I've got the receipt, I just don't want to get up and get it, because I'm in my jammies, and, <laughs> um, so we leave, and I'm ready to head home, because, um, normally we'd go to Pathfinder tonight, but, um, the lady that I nannied for needed me to come watch the kids um, and get them ready for their school pictures tomorrow, so I needed to head home before they, you know, went to sleep. Um, went to go get my car. Um, I was actually going to stop, be a horrible person, and stop at the thrift shop that's right next to the hat shop. Um, the St. Vincent de Paul thrift shop. Because they have some pretty neat vintage... Well, it's a vintage shop. But they were closed. They closed it not at um, 5. They were open 9.30 to 5, which... I can understand on Sunday, but that seems like an awkward time for every day. Especially on SoCo. But, um... So I'm like, oh, well that sucks. And I go to get my car. Unfortunately, I had parked in the thrift shop parking lot without realizing that it was a exclusively the thrift shop's parking lot. And they had locked the gate at 5. It was 7. And there was no one to call to tell them and find out what I could do. There was just a sign saying that um, cars would be towed. Um, I work... 9 to 5 tomorrow. So, tonight I get to figure out how exactly am I getting my car that has my backpack in it with my homework 
without worrying about it being towed. Hopefully, um, I'm gonna have a friend be able to go get it and at least move it out of the parking lot and onto into a parking lot, a parking spot, but on the street or take it to my work so that I can drive it home or something. But yeah, that's when my evening got a little not awesome. I'm a little upset about it. I'm not as upset as I was. Um, I kind of had a panic attack when it first happened because I couldn't think straight. But I have some really awesome friends who are helping me out. So it should be, should be okay. Um, let's see what else. Um, so I got the girls all ready for their school pictures and I'm super excited. They picked out really cute dresses and they're going to be adorable. Um, and I, oh, the fancy restaurant that I ate at, I had duck ravioli with duck on the outside as well. It was like two different du types of duck served with figs. The figs with the duck was amazing. It was really good. Um, but the ravioli, and uh, it was like ground duck, and I wasn't feeling it. But the, the the duck that came on the outside, oh my god, really good, really good. And I had got a, um, a chocolate mousse with chocolate ganache on the top. I'm gonna let the kids have some of it because I couldn't. It's ooh, chocolate. Um, I'm gonna let the kids have some of it for um, bedtime snack. Uh, the youngest was like, it tastes weird. It doesn't taste like milk chocolate. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably not milk chocolate. And the older girl was like, it's really good. And she ate like half of her portion, which it's, it was a big ganache. Like, I ate a third of it, and I gave each of them a third, and she ate about half of that. So I, I'm impressed with the amount she had. And then, um, instead I got, I pulled the yogurt out of the fridge and let the little one eat the strawberries that were in it and the older one was like, oh, let me try and she ate, like, I don't know, like half the yogurt. <laughs> she was like, it's so good. And it was just plain vanilla yogurt. And this is the picky child. Like, maybe the younger one's getting into her picky phase and the older one's coming out of it? I don't know. They're adorable. I don't know. Oh, also, Wonder Woman! So that's the thing. My head hurts a little bit, so I think I'm going to go get ready for bed and, um, sleep. The sleep of the dead. No. But sleep. I will sleep. Um, stuff and junk, and have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully I'll have good news about my car. Get plans to see, uh, meet with a friend and do some, um, story plotting, and I am so sorry that the camera is jiggling, because I'm moving on the bed, which is making the laptop move, which is making the camera move. Yay! But yeah, story plotting tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. And at the nine minute mark, I will bid you adieu.